I would like to uh, bestow the honor of opening this episode to Gary Hilbert. No way! Yeah. Dude! I don't even know what to do right now. Welcome, guys. What, what do you typically you say? You had one here? chance, and that's what you went with. Yeah. Tall guy, beer, twins, purple hoser. Dude, perfect in overtime. Tall guy, beer, twins, purple hoser. Now we're heading on to Welcome to Overtime 11. We got a great show for you guys today. Starting off with a little Cool Not Cool, followed by a brand new segment that you've never seen before. Then into some absurd recurs and to finish it up, everybody's favorite, Wheel Unfortunate. But for now, let's head to Cool Not Cool. Recently, I decided that I needed to take charge. Okay, for at least one episode, we will enforce the budget rule. So this is budget episode cool, not cool. $25 or less. Okay. I'm talking to one man in particular. I'm Kobe. Okay. No. I definitely smell something burning. You absolutely do. Oh. Let me introduce to you guys my item, the no hot way. dog toaster. Here's what we got. I, bro I broke some up just oh, so you guys can just taste. That, that is gonna be the best hot dog you've ever had. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Dude. I'll vote first. Yes! The wiener cooker itself, it's pretty standard. But the bun toaster, uh -huh. yeah. next level. If it cooked anything beside hot dogs, I would be in. <laughs> I'm limited oh, to one of my dude. least favorite yeah, items. I really thought that was gonna be my first super cool. You guys know me, you bring a food item and uh, I'm in. From now on, I'm only bringing food items. And I was skeptical at first, but that puppy was cooked to perfection. Gare, I'm so proud of you. And how much are we talking there, Gare? 17.97. That is how you do budget cool, not cool. I can follow that up nicely. Really? A lot of negativity in the world today. Yeah. And that is why I want to take this moment to pass out just a little bit of positive energy. Is that the that Bob is, Ross energy drink? That is a Bob Ross energy Dude, drink. Man. Wash your dogs down uh, with some positive Bob Ross energy. Is it wrong that I want to check the ingredients label no, real quick no, on this don't, really don't random look. item? Don't even look. No such thing as mistakes, uh, just happy accidents. Toss it back. That is the best energy drink I've ever tasted. Holy cow, there's a lot of sugar in that thing. It's got 80% of your panothenic acid. <laughs> and yeah. for that reason, I'm out. I don't know what that is. Okay. Congratulations to the Bob Ross family who's yeah. carried on his legacy. This stuff's good. Yeah, I'm a green too. Yeah. I would love to tie in my item really quickly. <laughs> Strange way to bring up an item I've ever seen. All right, pretend you're ready for a job interview. Got your tie on, you're feeling good. You got the cold sweats because you're nervous. Yeah. And uh, you pull out your neck tie fan. Wow. Oh, that's nice. I'm sorry, what? Mid-August in Texas, you're gonna want one of these suckers. Does it come in any different colors? Don't believe so. Okay. <laughs> Before you do that, Ty, I feel like it's unfair, dude. You just took a Bob Ross positive energy drink, and all of a sudden you're publicly shaming the Ty guy. You messed up. You're, you're right. You know what? I should be full of positive energy. I mean, come and on. For that reason. Thank you, Gobi. Thank you, Gobi. For that We're on reason. our way, folks. That's two. What just happened? Is it plugged in all the time? All the time in your pocket. <laughs> I like how you were trying to hide that. I'm sorry, Bob. You gave me all I had. I got to go back. No, I will say, oh. I hate wearing a tie, and on the off chance that this makes it better. Wow. Okay. I just need different color. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> the fact that it's pre-tied is a reason enough You're for a dream. You're just for the pre-tied Yes, 100%, wow. dude. Good item. Ladies and gentlemen, do you remember my unspillable coffee mug? Yeah. That was nice. For today's budget-friendly episode, I would like to introduce to you the unspillable coffee mug oh, carrier. No now that we've got our uh, our positive energy, does everyone agree that is to the tippy top? That's yeah. pretty full. Normally, if you are carrying this cup, oh, that it is spilling what? everywhere. No way! What a performance! No way! We need to invent this to where they have this hanging from the car ceiling, so you know you're always spilling it. And yeah, I'm in. What an item! Uh, yeah, absolutely green. You did use partial of my item, Energy which is drink. kind of like a compliment. It is, but you you not cooled my item. But I did drink a lot of positive energy, so hey, all right. The fact that you have to keep this in your office drawer. <laughs> I agree. I I'm so on your time. page right I just, now. I can't get on board. This is a I, piece I of I totally joke. understand you there. If I may say so myself, I've had some legendary performances on Cool Not Cool. <laughs> and legendary prices. Okay. Before I present my item to you, my only request would be, before you vote, you must try it yourself. Fair I enough. proudly present to you the ostrich pillow. <laughs> We've all been there. You're on an airplane and you just can't get comfortable. Pull your tray table out and just set your face down on it. Oh 
My goodness, your arms are in just a primo position Your arms right are in here. the other people's seats. Yeah, that's true. I need Go you on. guys to try it before you cast your vote. Okay, is this how it goes? Uh, more or less. Before I cast any votes, I want to be clear-headed. That's not how you get clear-headed. There it is, yeah. there it is. I'm green all day. Looks unbelievable. Oh, that's nice. I told you, dude, the forehead comfort is phenomenal. I have a horrible time sleeping on planes. That is flat out unbelievable. Super cool. Yeah! Hey, guys, real quick, I know that today was a budget episode, and I know this may be hard to believe, but um, the ostrich pillow was actually $99. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? What is wrong with you? I'm making an executive decision. One game suspension. Yeah. Next time, cool, not cool. No buttons, no mic. You say a word, you're spinning the wheel. I Give me the pillow. No, no. Give me the pillow. I'd pay a million dollars to sleep on an airplane. <laughs> Pillow's broke. There's fuzz coming out. No! Yeah. In the segment. No. Somebody. Welcome to the newest segment here on Overtime. Here at DP, we have arguments just like everybody else. It's common in the workplace to have disputes, disagreements, and sometimes those are left unresolved. We decided to appoint one person to resolve our arguments, and there is only one place to do that, and that is in the courtroom of Judge Duty. You are about to enter the courtroom of Judge Duty. Tensions are high. Dudes may cry but the rulings are final. This is Judge Duty. 12 years ago, Garrett Hilbert accidentally broke Kobe Cotton's desk. Today, Garrett is suing Kobe for violating bro code and forcing him to pay for the desk. Rise up! Judge, hey. Please be seated. Case number 432, Hilbert versus Cotton. Thank you, officer. How we doing today? Good. Did you get your coffee this morning? I didn't, you took it. Ah. That's fine though. Mr. Hilbert versus Mr. Cotton. Mr. Hilbert, you are countersuing Mr. Cotton because he forced you to pay $90 for a desk that you originally broke. Now you want your money back because you feel Mr. Cotton broke bro code. Am I understanding that correct, Mr. Hilbert? Yes, sir, and also countersuing for emotional damages on the friendship over the last 12 years. What is the total amount, Mr. Hilbert, that you're countersuing for? $450. $450? Mr. Cotton, it is not your turn. Please wait. Mr. Hilbert, were you invited to the house? Yes, Your Honor. We were just having a good, friendly discussion. I leaned against a piece of garbage, unstable desk. It cracked. I was very apologetic, and he proceeded to send me a bill for... $90. Thank you, Mr. Hilbert. Mr. Cotton. Yes, Your Honor. What was the date of the incident, Mr. Cotton? April 2nd, 2007, Your Honor. Where was the house that you lived in? I was off campus, sir, in the historic district. Historic district? You must have a lot of money, Mr. Cotton. No, sir. It was a rental, sir. Where were you working at the time, Mr. Cotton? I was waiting tables at Red Lobster, Your Honor. Red Lobster. You like lobster? Actually, no, sir, but I did like the cheese bread, sir. You like the cheese bread, but not the lobster. How much money were you making an hour at Red Lobster, uh, it Mr. It was $8 Cotton? an hour plus tip, sir. $8. So you were in a bit of a financial pickle, you might say, Mr. Lob Mr. Lobster. I'm going to call you Mr. Lobster from now on, Mr. Cotton. Mr. Lobster, how did you acquire the desk? I bought it, sir. You bought the desk with lobster money? Sure, yes, sir, yes. What was your major in college? Communication. Communication what? Communication, that was the you name of the You didn't study name. hard enough because you're having a hard time communicating with me, Mr. Lobster. Mr. Hilbert, what was your major? Irrelevant, sir. This is incredible. Mr. Sir. Cotton, I'm not talking to you right now. Officer Trooper, stay over there. If he talks again, I want you to cuff him. Mr. Hilbert, you're a pretty bright guy. <laughs> Mr. Hilbert, talk to me, please. Where was the desk from, Mr. Hilbert? Ikea, I believe, sir. Did you know the desk was from Ikea at the time, or did you find this out after the fact, Mr. Hilbert? Looks can be deceiving, sir. I did not know it was Your from Honor, Ikea. Your Honor, it was obvious it was Mr. Ikea furniture. Mr. Cotton, when I talk to you, then you can talk back to me, Mr. Communication Lobster. It was a terrible desk, Your Honor. It's very obvious. Put the cuffs on him. Officer Trooper, next outburst, you have my authority to bust him with your nightstick if he does anything else. Mr. Cotton, how long had you lived in the house prior to Mr. Hilbert coming over? Uh, about six months, Your Honor. Would you say you had adequate time to set up the house appropriately? Yes, sir. How many seats were in the room when the desk was broken? I had uh, one desk chair, Your Honor. One desk chair. And how many people were in the room, Mr. Cotton? Uh, I recall three or four people. Three or four sir. people, and we've got one desk chair in the room. Do you see the problem here, Mr. Lobster? It was my bedroom, sir. Mr. Lobster, do you regret breaking bro code? I did not break bro code, Your You Honor. didn't feel bad that you then took your friend, Mr. Hilbert, he accidentally broke your desk, 
And then you said you owe me ninety dollars. Uh, the broken bro code, Your Honor, was him not offering to pay for the desk. Your Honor. Everything would have been forgiven. Was there anything else on the desk at the time? Just a couple of textbooks, sir. My Bible. The Bible. WWJD. What? You think Jesus would have made Peter pay for for the table if he broke it? You make a good point, Your Honor. So are you agreeing to pay the full amount of four hundred and fifty dollars, Mr. Lobster? Absolutely not. That's outrageous. Uh, Mr. Lobster. Sir, if he had said a hundred thousand dollars, would Lobster, you have said yes? That's enough. Thank you. Due to inflation. <laughs> Emotional side effects and a complete waste of time on my behalf. I agree with Mr. Hilbert. You owe him $450 and a free lobster meal. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you, sir. Officer Trooper, I'm finished here. Thank you very much. Got to be honest, really happy with the ruling that Judge Duty gave me today. I stepped in this courtroom, thought I was going to like Judge Duty. The guy's a joke. Should have done this years ago. What kind of a friend sits on his friend's desk, breaks it, then charges a thousand percent interest 10 years later. Probably should ask for more now I'm thinking about it, but hey, going to take my 450 and live a happy life. I'm going to go over to Garrett's house to see if I can break some things. Maybe I'll make a few million. I think that that is one of the best decisions that we have ever had to bring in the judge and yeah. the courtroom into this office. I think that's going to solve a lot of problems. Okay, well, it is time to move on. We had Michael in town a few weeks ago and we decided to break yet another absurd recurred. Let's take a look. It is a beautiful day to break an absurd record. Today we are down in the kitchen with everybody's favorite Guinness World Record adjudicator, Michael! Hey. hey everyone, how are you? Michael, glad to have you here. Why don't you tell the folks at home what Kobe will be attempting today? Today, Kobe will be attempting to break the Guinness World Records title for tallest stack of donuts in one minute while blindfolded. Oh. Oh, that's <laughs> absurd. <Yes. laughs> so it's exactly what it sounds like. Yeah. Blindfold, yeah. stack of donuts. The tower must remain standing for five seconds oh, okay. at the Ooh. end of I the, hope that the one come minute. Play. It's a good note. And let's not forget about the thickness of the donut. What was the thickness that they have to be? They have to be um, six centimeters thick. For our American it's... speaking friends, basically they need to be pretty thick <laughs> donuts. Okay, Copes, how are you feeling? I don't have a blindfold, but I feel great. Ah. Oh, there we go. Now nice. yeah, we have a blindfold. Thank you. Okay, you ready? I'm ready, guys. Kobe, right. please wave at the donut cam. Somewhere over here. Correct. That was a direct hey. wave at the donut Hey! Camp. For the record, three, two, one, go. It's a good first one. I feel like he's not fighting time. It's more just fine. Yeah, the architecture. Yeah. Move your top one closer to you a little. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. How about you start stacking? Just stack them and see what happens. Jim, towards you. Towards, towards you. Towards you. Towards you. Kobe, towards you. No. No. no it's done. Done. Oh, the it's donut tower's gone. What happened? All right, reset. Bring it back this way a little. No, 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 no. To your left, to your left. Time. Put that one dead center. Oh, you had it. Wait, you go. Yeah. Let go, let go. Kobe, are you ready? I'm ready, Michael. For the record, go. Good stack Dude, right there. Only two more left. The last two will decide everything. Holy cow. Towards you, towards you, towards, towards you. you. The top two. This one needs to be all towards Ty. All towards Ty. Top two towards me and you. We got time. Okay, hold on. Uh, top one away from you. A little bit more. Okay, hands off. Stop. Two, three, four, five. You went from zero to hero at the last second. Wow. That honestly might last as long as the Egyptian pyramids. Oh. Donut cam! Kobe, the existing record was seven. You have tied the existing Guinness World Records title. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. amazing. Great job. Thanks, sir. Eat some donuts, guys. Appreciate it. Oh, it tastes like a world record. It does. Oh, man. I will say, Kobe's much harder than it looks. Well done, though. Thank you. Great job. Thanks. Another plaque on the wall. Can't complain. Can't complain. When you hoist it high <laughs> and you feel the feels, you know it's real. It's true. What oh, a saying. That's what they what say. That doesn't happen often for me, but when it does, it feels good. <laughs> Ladies and yeah. gentlemen, for everyone's favorite and final segment of this episode of Overtime, I would like to throw it over to Gary wow, Hilbert. Are you serious? I would like to do Guys, that. if I'm on the bench, it's my favorite game show to watch. This is Wheel Unfortunate. Much better. Wow. Much better than yes. that. As always, I have a new hat for us to pick out of. I am using the pizza <laughs> hat today. <laughs>
Yeah, the that's hats that's just that's don't do it for me. You know, you guys, <laughs> you guys, I was under the impression that you guys look forward to seeing what new hat I bring no, out. No, every not episode. really. I'm curious what kind of a reaction you're expecting. No, oh my, oh wow! There's toppings on top. Oh, that is actually what he wanted. Man. You know what? All right, I have the hat. I would say I would like Corey to pick out of the hat. All in favor of Corey? Aye. Yes, this usually goes well for me. Corey, do your worst. There's at least a 72% <laughs> chance you land on own a cat. No. They're all the same. It feels it's like a 72% no. chance. Do you have it in your hand? No, he's got oh! it in his hand. He has the name in his hey, hand right here's now. Here's what I want you to do because this is always gets me excited. Does it start with a C? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Yeah. It does not. <laughs> Pizza hat, the moi. Ah, see. I'm ready to just show it. Okay. Wait, wait, wait hold on. <laughs> hey, what are you gonna name your cat? <laughs> it's me, and I'm owning a cat. Ladies and gentlemen, the person that might own a cat is Gary. Yes. Yes. yes! yes! Welcome to the greatest game show in all the lands. This is Wheel on Fortune. Well, folks, I'm Ned Forrester checking in. A uh, little bit of a doubter more this show than usual, I guess you, you could say. We've been on the road. The boys are finishing up the tour. They asked old Ned to go along with them, and tour life is not for Ned. It's taking a toll on me vocally, mentally, spiritually, physically, just about every type of lead you could possibly imagine. I feel it. Too many fans. You're screaming dead. You're cheering me on to dance. You're taking every golden boy I had. I've got no golden boys left to throw out for you guys. Just, just bring them on. Come on up, Gare. Man, I gotta say, I cannot believe I have more energy than Ned. That is insane. Well, you know, looks like spirits are already pretty low, and I don't want to make them lower, so I guess I don't need to spin the wheel. No, so, hey, you, uh, good you, seeing you all, bud. You, you don't need to spin the wheel, because I'm going to do it for you. Spin that wheel. OK, here is we this are. A joke? No. Dude, it says stand in lines at a theme park and not ride any rides. And that is exactly what you're gonna be doing, Gear. Thank you very much. I'm Ned Forrester. The old Ned came here and he, he decided, hey, let's just make this a quick one. Gear walks on, I spin it, that's what you're doing. That's how the ball game that's works. That's not how the game works. It I'm is. supposed to spin the wheel and you guys are supposed to be spin! Sign it off for now, say it with me. That unfortunate! See you, Gear. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at Six Flags. Today is all about finding the longest lines we possibly can, and for the five of us having the best day of our lives. Who's ready to have fun? Me. Here we go! Yeah. Dude, I'm totally going no hands. Oh, no, Will no. You do no hands. Yeah. Oh, no, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. The Coaster Brothers! Yeah! Coaster Brothers! This ride is notorious for three hour line waits. <laughs> Good news is, we have fast passes, yeah. boys. Yeah! <laughs> Enjoy it. Nah, I'll hold that water for you. <laughs> no, I'm good. I got it. <laughs> That's brutal. Oh, I'm a changed man. For the unicorn. One, two. What's Garrett doing? Garrett, he's probably still <laughs> standing in line. It's literally over 100 degrees right now. Hey, boys! Well, Light is up, up, baby! Hey, I cracked some water at least. Oh, oh man, that was a perfectly good. <laughs> That's so messed up. Honestly, the car was the best part of the whole place. Stop touching me. Want to give him a kiss? No. <laughs> I hope he gets soaked. Good news, I say we don't make Garrett stand in line for this one, mainly because we need you to hold these while we go ride it. Are you serious? Yeah, hold, hold that, thank you. All right, we'll be back. Yeah, that looks like a lot of fun. 
It has been a long day, but a fun day. One of the best in Duke Perkins. I agree. Say it with me, folks. That's unfortunate! Sorry about that, Oh Man, that hurts. That would hurt me more than it hurts you. What'd you guys do with your stuffed animals? Uh, kept them at home. Yeah, mine's on my bed at home. Yeah, it's awesome. Cool. Special shout out to the 140,000 of you that came out to our very first ever live show, the Pound It Noggin Tour. We had a blast in your cities. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're not already a Dude Perfect subscriber, click down here so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, shout out to the guys holding down the fort while we were gone. Editor Edition 2 is live. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Signing off for now. Mics are fake. Kobe went over budget. Shocker. See you next time. <laughs> uh, he doesn't have buttons next episode. Oh, That's yeah. I forgot hilarious. I suspended him. Yeah, That's nice.